Hey everybody, if you're just wondering what connector to use for a tri-load, use the shackle with a mouse pin. Stick around and I'll show you how. Here we have a tri-loaded carabiner. Now we all know this is probably not the best way to do it. Carabiners are meant to be loaded in one direction along the spine. It's super common to see carabiners rigged in this fashion. This configuration can lead to enormous pressure being placed on the carabiner gate, which could cause it to pry open. So here are a couple options for you. This is a pear-shaped quick link. It has a braking strength of 10,000 pounds and it's made by Malian Repeat. They're a French company that's known worldwide for their quick links. Screw a gate like you might imagine, or so you'd imagine. Tighten with a wrench to make it permanent. So here we have it, a tri-loaded, pear-shaped quick link. But Mikey, you say, I'm on site right now. I don't have time to order something from France. Another super safe option would be a bell-shaped shackle with a mouse pin. The mouse is a zip tie that's placed through the bell of the shackle and through the eye of the bolt, connecting the bolt to the shackle. Kind of looks like a mouse's tail when you're done. Always a good idea to come back with a pair of snips to clean it up. I like neon zip ties because you can see them from the ground. Tighten with a wrench to make it permanent. This shackle is a half inch shackle with a working load limit of three tons. Make sure your multiple leg side is the bell side. So here we are, a tri-loaded bell-shaped screw pin shackle. This is the solution that arena and theater riggers are gonna feel the most comfortable with. So now you have a couple options on how to replace that tri-loaded carabiner. Thanks for watching.